Hello, hello. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 The definition of peace. And what is the difference between the peace that the world gives and the peace that Christ gives? I don't know what uh, you are prepared for, but Karibuni Sana, this is Christ Zion Assembly. We are in the book of Colossians. And yes, last week we took a break from the book of Colossians and just um, belabored the point of, you know, sometimes we want to take charge of what God, you know, has <laughs> called us to do by, you know, coming up with nice strategies, you know, insurance policies, you know, contingency plans upon other contingency plans. Like Jacob, you know, he tried to do every other thing. And I think for me, even as I was sharing, what really stood out for me is, you know, the incessant, the incessant, uh, you know, what, um, uh, what, what does it call? Um, temptation to come up with a structured plan for the things of God. Because, you know, and worry and anxiety. Because Jacob really, honestly, like a man, you are going back to your brother. You cheated his inheritance out of him. He swore to kill you. You ran away. And then God tells you, go back to that brother. Ah, atakakwa mimi. I would have planned. <laughs> I would have planned and come up with a strategy layer. Ah, uh -uh. This guy might just kill me. You know, and just how Jacob plants, plants the gifts, very many camels and cows and sheep and, and goats to just appease his brother. And then after that, you know, even after appeasing his brother, he plans out of strategy of if Esau should start killing people, you know, he should start killing people from the people least loved to the all the way to the most loved. You know, Rachel and Joseph are put at the very back of the of the of the conda. And the rest of them, Akina Bilha and the maid servants are put in front to face the sword before Joseph. So that that just really spoke to me, you know, that many times God tells us to do something and and obviously, like human beings, we want to come up with a strategy, a plan, contingency plans, you know, uh, insurance policies, uh, uh, how to take care of losses, should this happen, should this go bad, what then that, and all that. And just how God, at the end of the day, comes back and Esau receives Jacob with a lot of love, uh, you know, that. Today we are in Colossians, um, Colossians chapter 3. We are reading from verses 15 and all the way to 17. Um, I'll ask Nate to read for us and then, yeah, we can keep it, pick it up from there. But before that, Carol, you want to pray for us? Yes. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for being such a wonderful friend to us, that, Lord, you wrote us this letter, Father Lord, that will direct us, that will teach us and show us the way, Father Lord. Lord, you, you, you want us to walk in your ways, Father Lord, and that is why you sent us this beautiful letter, my Father. And even as we go through it, Father Lord, as we discuss, Father Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit will be in our midst, Lord, and and that the Holy Spirit, Lord, will will help us, will will we will reveal some of the things through this word, my Father Lord, that we'll be going through today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Colossians chapter three from verse fifteen to seventeen net. The Bible says, Let the peace of Christ rule in your heart since mm. as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. Verse 16, let the word of Christ dwell richly, dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Uh, and whatever you do, whether in word or in deed, do it in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That is which version? NIV. That's NIV version. Uh, anybody with the, the message? You, are, you have the message? No, I, I, I have the ESV. The ESV. Yeah. Can we listen to that as well? 
ASV uh, Colossians 3 from verse 15 says, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, mm. to which indeed you are called in one body. Mm. And being thankful, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, mm. teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, mm. singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness mm. in your hearts to God. Mm. And whatever you do, in word or, on the, or deed, mm. do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, mm. giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Amen. Uh, the Message Bible. <laughs> I love it. Let the peace of Christ keep you in tune with each other, in step with each other. None of this going off and doing all, none of this going off and doing your own thing and cultivate thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, the message, have the run of the house. Give it plenty of room in your lives. Instruct and direct one another using good common sense and sing. Sing your hearts out to God. Let every detail in your lives, words, actions, whatever it is, be done in the name of the Master Jesus. Thanking God the Father every step of the way. What stands out for you? What stands out for you within those uh, three verses? 15, 16, and 17. What is it that really just jumps out of um, the scriptures for you? Net, you want to begin? We should start with pastors. <laughs> <laughs> with pastors yeah. These pastors should give us direction. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Pastor Ricky and Pastor Carol. You know, some, Good. Some, some, <laughs> now that you say Pastor Ricky and Pastor Carol. Yes. Ladies first. Ah, okay. <laughs> Pastor Carol. Uh, and and she said she's the only lady. Why, why, why are you refusing the calling? Look at this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Being the only lady. Yes. <laughs> Actually, me, I think everything is just standing out. Me, yes. If I'm um, to say what stands out for me, I'll talk about every verse. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We yeah. are, we are in you, the you, same can, page. You, you can talk about 15 and then leave Pastor Ricky to talk about 16. But I love 16 more. Okay, <laughs> talk about 16 then. <laughs> Whatever it is um, that you love more. <laughs> okay, I'll take 15. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, so 16. Okay. Let the word of let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as mm. you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. Mm. And as you sing psalms, hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. Mm. I think what I'm getting here is even as you do whatever it is you do in church and as and, and as the body of Christ, mm. let the word of God be the, the key and what is leading you. Like, let the word of God dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another. Mm. As you teach them, does the word of God dwell in you? Mm -hmm. As you sing those hymns, do you have the word of God written in your hearts and do you have the word of God in your hands? Mm -hmm. Or are you just there teaching people yet you yourself are not going through the word of God? Mm -hmm. You're teaching people what you don't even know. Mm -hmm. No wonder we have people teaching us um, in it was a false gospel, mm -hmm. uh, your Half prosperity truth. gospel. Yeah. You know, because you're not even intentionally going through the word of God. Mm -hmm. So even as you as you correct one another, mm -hmm. as you teach one another, mm -hmm. as you sing those hymns in church, yeah. let that word of God dwell in you. How does it dwell in you? Are you making it like day-to-day -day life? Like the same way you bathe in the morning, mm -hmm. you, you, you cannot leave the house without brushing your teeth mm -hmm. because your mouth will smell. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't read the word of God, what you teach us will be smelling mm -hmm. like poop. Mm -hmm. because <laughs> it's wrong it's it's false yeah. the same way you will brush your teeth you will shower every day and comb your hair the oil on your face mm -hmm. read the word of god that's how it will dwell in you you'll find yourself behaving according to the just acting according to the word of god mm -hmm. if it says rejoice in the lord always you'll find yourself rejoicing even in in hard situations mm -hmm. because that word dwells, dwells in, in you. you yeah Beautiful. Okay. Amen. Okay. 
You know, it's it's uh, on the 16th, then I go to 15. Yeah? Yes. Start from the end. Yes. <laughs> like our God. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I humble myself. <laughs> um, yes. You know, the dwelling, the the meaning there, dwelling is more of Shekinah. Yes. It's more of tarrying. Yes. Mm. Like tarrying, yeah, as yes. you're saying. Mm. Like, let the word of God be create the atmosphere around mm-hmm. you you know yeah that at any one point have you you know there are people who kind of you will always know mm. like ah this one if we start speaking here about uh engine zagari mm. at the end of the day we will reach the word of god yeah. somehow uh-huh. so you there are people there are people who avoid such kind of crowds yes you know yeah because they dwell amongst they dwell among his people who only speak. Their cross reference will not be the new model that has come back. Yeah. Their cross reference will be what does scripture say? say. You know, mm. because this person, he dwells. You know, he dwells. He f- he has found his secret place. David will say that that it is better to be at your presence. You know, than in it, it is better that better a thousand days. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. being where you are, yeah. that, 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 uh, oh, sorry, better one day in your presence and a thousand, thousand days, days being you know, somewhere else, being somewhere else, mm. you know. Mm. And uh, that's why sometimes I don't like these videos that kind of a uh, bit little the word of God mm-hmm. because the, the word of God is rich, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it is rich mm-hmm. and uh, belittling it to some point or trying to make fun of it mm-hmm. is more like trying to belittle your life mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. who, who who wants to be belittled no, no one you know yeah and just going now going now to the beginning verse 15 it says and let the peace of christ rule in your hearts mm-hmm. to which you are called in one body mm-hmm. now it's amazing because one, you need to realize to whom were you called yeah. in Christ Jesus. And I, I, I love that my scripture takes me back to uh, it's Ephesians. Yeah, it's a, it should be Ephesians. Uh, uh, Ephesians 2. Yes. Um, verse 15. Yes, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it should be Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 16. That you were called in into one body and this one body is in Christ. Mm-hmm. Now, I was just here and I was praying as we, start, we were starting off. You see, when the Bible says that and let, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, mm-hmm. the peace of Christ is one beyond human understanding. Yes. The peace of Christ, this is the peace of Christ. That for 30 years, he was not known. Mm-hmm. This is the peace of Christ. That for th- even after the 30 years, he gets a point to be able to manifest himself, but he decides not to. Yeah. Not because he can't, but because he knew, I'm not here to glorify myself, but the Father. The Father, yes. The peace of Christ is this, that I, I know I can call a host of angels to come and deal with you. Yeah. You know. Mm. But I won't. Don't you know? It is written. You know, mm. whoever kills by the sword shall be killed, shall by, be the killed sword. by the, the sword. sword. Yeah. And decides, no, I will not do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it is hard. The hardest thing is when you know you have muscles. Yeah. But you cannot use them. That's very true. You know, yeah. when you know that, man, I can be able to do this. I have all the money. But I can't just go showing around, you know, uh, 50,000, 30,000, anything else, mm. you know, like the Pharisees, and start helping the poor. Oh, guys, come and see that I am doing this. Yeah. You know, the peace of Christ is humility. And then when it says rule, mm-hmm. it is let it be the standard. Yeah. Let it be the judge. Mm-hmm. You know, that. Whatever the judge says goes. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. irrespective. Whatever the judge says goes. goes yeah. And so at the end of the day, this peace of Christ, the object of, the, of your faith, this peace of Christ, the one that goes beyond the natural man, mm-hmm. 
let it be the standard by which everything else has been set. Mm -hmm. So that if you go haywire, you know you are able to do it, but you will not do it. Yeah. If you go haywire, yeah. uh -uh, the, the peace of Christ through the word of God, as Carol has rightly mm -hmm. said it, will be able to bring you back and tell you, I know you can, but don't. Mm -hmm. Because that is not glorifying the Father. Yeah. And that peace is your judge. You know, mm -hmm. and for me, it is quite amazing that the peace of Christ will bring me back to my senses and just tell me, you know what? Do what you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Because uh -uh, this one, your no. mind might want something else. Yeah. Your heart, which is deceitful among all things, might want something else. Yeah. But do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. See, when you talk about the peace of Christ, I think it is, which, which, which book is that where, where, where Jesus, it will be John, eh? where Jesus is telling his disciples, and I give you my peace. Mm. Not like the world giveth. Yes, yes. You understand? Uh -huh. Yeah. You're so, for you are in the world, and in the world you will face many troubles, troubles. but be of good cheer, yeah. for right. I have overcome the world. Mm. And, and you know, when you're talking like that, I just remember... But, you know, in the context of the peace that Christ Jesus gave us is that in the world you'll face many troubles. But in the midst of those troubles, be of good cheer, yeah. which is mm -hmm. the peace of Christ. Why? Because I have overcome the, the world. world. And then later on comes in that, you know, I am within you. So that he who is in you is, is greater, greater than he who is in the world. world. So whether it becomes philosophies, whether it becomes arguments, mm. whether it becomes trends, mm. whether it becomes uh, calamities, mm -hmm. you know, you are so sure that mm -hmm. the peace of Christ mm -hmm. will stand me. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he, greater is he who is in me mm -hmm. than he who is in the world. world. Whether it is a new trend that is coming up mm -hmm. that is against the word of God, mm -hmm. you, you know, the message Bible puts it like, let the word of God have the run of the house. Mm literally let the word of god run the house you understand see like the way the father or a king runs a city or a father runs a homestead you understand now let the word of god run your house you we are not going to do anything if the word of god has not said it so, so sorry mr songa yes i, I know you are not <laughs> I, I feel holy anger. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, because, Caleb. <laughs> because I feel like yes, we have reached a point where we have allowed other things and we are playing catch up. Yes. I mean, it's no problem being on TikTok. Yes. It's no problem going with the social medias, the new trend, the new dancing, yes. the new what and yeah. everything else. Yeah. The new song. The new song. The you know, you must things. know this. It reaches a point until when you do not know something, you, you like, look like, where are you from? Yes. You know. Exactly. We are, we are not supposed to know. You know, now I see there are two things. Yes. There is Jomo and yes. then there is FOMO. Yes. FOMO is fear of missing out. Yes. Jomo is joy of missing out yes you know yeah and you see the pe people are trying to like counter the world by the world you yes. will not you win. will not win you know yes you cannot counter the world by the world it, and that is why you're saying uh, the bible says uh, i need to phrase this very well not yes. you yes the bible says yes you know, but as you have phrased it very yes. well that in this world you will have trouble yes it is an assurance. yes it is like you know what you are going this way, and you are supposed to go through it. But as you go through it, bullets, bullets will be flying. Yeah. You know, but be, be of good, good cheer. cheer. I have given you a bulletproof. Yes. So, go you. You just walk. <laughs> you know, you know yeah, uh, uh, there's a time in my life where I was just looking. I was so tired of people's opinions. And I was just looking for the words that Jesus Christ said alone in the Bible. Imagine Jesus said, in this world, you will face many troubles. But then Jesus said that. And Jesus, when he says, my friend, be sure that that is very true. Net. <laughs> but, but thank God you, you <laughs> overcome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so even if they come, you, you, you come should be of good better chair. and stronger. Yes. That's why, that's why uh, one, of, one of my, okay, if I continue from Pastor Rest here, uh, yeah. one of my favorite authors of the Bible is David. Yes. And if you read the Psalms, 
it's, most of the times he's complaining. Yeah. But I love how after his complaints, Apochini <laughs> is like, but I will rejoice Try in the God Lord. of my strength. Yes. Oh, like, he always ends up with, ah, I yes, will rejoice. I, I'm in this trouble, yes. but I will rejoice God in the Lord of my salvation. This, I trust you, God. Yeah. And then, then Apochini and I say, but I have never seen the children of the, the righteous. Sleep hungry. Yeah. Or beg or for, back for second, bread. Uh, yeah, for second. The righteous for second Can, or, or their children. children. Beg, begging for, for bread, bread yes. you know, but I would some up you like just go read Psalms, yeah, you know, uh, read go read the whole Bible, not even Psalms, the whole yeah. Bible, yes, like everyone has trouble, yeah, from from Adam, <laughs> <laughs> the first from man, Adam, the first man <laughs> <laughs> to Revelation, yes, <laughs> so yeah, but we overcome, yeah, 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 so mm. uh, so the the I, I think I do verse 16, yes. So it says, let the words of Christ, okay, let me do it. And I will let the word of Christ dwell richly in you as you teach. Yes. Okay. So, uh, I okay, can I do it in NLT? It yes. says, let the word of Christ in all their richness live in your hearts yeah. and make you wise. Wow. So number one, it says, let it dwell. Yeah. Number two, it didn't say in your mind. It in says your in your heart. heart. Number three, it didn't say so that you may be knowledgeable. No, it so says that so that you may be wise. I'm sure you guys, you guys, okay, you guys have gone to schools and campuses, and you've met people, you've met people with degrees, but when they talk, they're like, you're like, ah, and then you've you're met like, to which degree? Yeah, yeah. You, you've met. To what degree can you go? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and you, even in church, you've yeah. met, you've met quite old. I don't know if I should use that term old, but when they speak to you, you're like, well, this man is wise or yes. this woman is wise. Or even young children. Or even young, yeah. yeah. So there's, I think, whatever out of out of the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth, mouth speaks. speaks. Okay? Yeah. That's why God is telling us to, this, the word of God dwelling in our hearts, it's a continual process. Yeah. It's not it dwelled in Ricky's heart, mm-hmm. Nini, Jana, yeah. you know. Every like it's it's his duty to make sure the word of God continually dwells in his heart, yeah. daily and daily, daily and daily. daily. You know, yeah. That's why mana equal. You're not supposed to keep mana. Yeah, uh, mana like you. Every day you need you you needed to go back to be refreshed. To be refreshed by the over, same mana. Yes, it's, it's like the word of God. Every yeah. day you need to go to be refreshed by the word of God. Yeah, over and over and over again. Yeah. But the thing is, this you don't read the word so that some of us who read the word of God. So that Nikki Patanana Karona Mombia Buddha. The Bible says. Oh, Karosi Buddha. Sorry. Tia Buddha ni. Oh baby girl, hey. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah. Sour. Anyway, ah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, some of us read the <laughs> word so that we'll explain something to one. Hey, bra. Ah, um, say. You know, some like and and if you think about it, yeah. it's the Pharisee mentality. That's where the Pharisee like, mentality. We, that's very true. We study not to change or to to be changed by that word. Yeah. But Nikki Patana na Ricky to na bigger discussion now, pa ya. Yeah, revelation. Yeah. Uh, go, go deep. Job aki to ski and on. Hey, but there's so many Bible. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but that's that's not it. Yeah. Like the word of God is to, for us to be changed by it. Yeah. And to be wise in the process. Yeah. So I should not teach you anything that the word of God hasn't changed me. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. should not tell you stop lying. And if the same word of God hasn't taught me how to not stop. lie. Like. Why? It's in mm-hmm. th- that's why Apochini Amesema. Then after yeah, yeah. everything that has happened, yeah. now teach. Teach. Mm. After mm. it has changed you and you become wise, yeah. now go teach. Yes. Mm. So don't don't come teach a kid telling him, hey, hey Sfanya, don't don't bully your friend. And, and you're a big and bully. And you're a big bully at, out work. Here, at work. <laughs> <laughs> Bullying people left, right, and center. Yeah. So like that's 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 the Jinda Isema chronology of Events. how the word of God should work in your life. Mm-hmm. You know? And Okay, the last thing. We live in a site yeah. and uh, sight and hearing yeah, generation. Yes. So our, my generation sees fast and then hears. Even if it doesn't make sense, so long as it attracts the eyes and the ears. Yes. They want it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But how do we as Christian package the word of God in excellence so that they'll see it and want it, they'll hear it and want it, and inside it, it's the... 
full like goodness of the word of god mm. you know cuz that's okay you know kwanga my biggest challenge yeah. like teenagers ukiwakaisha hapa okay i love teens so teenagers they want something hype they want to see something dun, 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 yeah yeah dun, 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 but how do we package as christians how do we package the word of god yeah. so that it's beautiful to behold yeah. and it's good to hear yeah. but in the same time it will grow them yeah. to wisdom and to maturity yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. and okay the uh, for me and this guy love hip hop yes. but we've gone to church to churches where rap and hip hop are called devil the music demon the demon devil. music you know yes but uh, so long as it's the truth of the word of god yeah why why not why not mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know yeah. the beat was created by who created <laughs> okay so let let us not get into that debate i can <laughs> see where you are headed but so anyway, yes but anyway so so <laughs> like as a christian so let let the word first change yes us. Yeah. when it changes us yeah. then let let let's look for ways on which we can use the same word yeah to make it so attractive to the world yeah. so that when we speak it I don't care if it's in hip hop or rap or camera or audio or whatever yeah. or drama and things. Yes. They want it. They want it. And it will make them grow and become with wiser. A- Amen. Look at that. You see this guy? This guy. Okay. My director is starting to say, "Okay, cut 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 cut." <laughs> and 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 I just want to add on that. If you read verse 17, I think what you have you said you'll talk about 16 you ended up talking about 17 so let me just read it so that we tie up what you have said let every detail in your lives words actions yeah. whatever it is be done in the name of the master Jesus whatever it is every detail every detail in your life every detail whether it is words mm-hmm. whether it is actions whether it is whatever the bible the message says in fact whatever mm-hmm. whether it is going to the river and back whether it is going to tao and yeah. back whether it is going to hike and back whatever it is whether it is eating and not eating whether it is drinking and not drinking whether it is sleeping and or keshering whether whatever it is whether it is going to mabati and eating chafua or not mm-hmm. all those things let them be done in the name of the master Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Sindio? Yeah, yeah. Because when when, when you up there when it says give give the word of God plenty of room in your lives. Plenty. Plenty of room in your lives. Give the word of God plenty of room and as net is putting it is simple. The word of God let it be master over your life fast before you go instructing other yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Because we are in a generation of church where we song a job is born again goes to church, you understand? But when he goes to work, he harasses people. You understand? He backbites people. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. He is scheming and planning palichini for the downfall of others. And yet I am born again. Mm-hmm. And yet I'm standing on the pulpit to preach to people. You understand? I am born again. Christ Jesus is Lord of my life and yet I am out there talking bad about other people you understand causing divisions the seven things that god hates you remember those things eh yeah. speaking lies about other people you understand yeah. causing divisions among other people innocently you know the, how you cause divisions innocently <laughs> you know me i i don't want you to feel bad but yes me i don't want you to feel bad but <laughs> You see that but? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you will take this, but you know those things, eh? See, let's just be Christians mm. and let the word of God rule every detail being mastered by the word of God. By the me these days I am just so tired of people who call themselves Christians, you understand? Na hapa chini they are doing some things unaangalia wasema Are you still born again? There's more under the carpet. Eh. I don't care whether you are going for kashas every Friday. By the way, I don't. I don't care whether you are prophesying and healing people in miracles. I don't care. And that's what we have forgotten. Mm. The world doesn't care that you go for kashas on Friday. The world doesn't care that you pray for 3 hours, 4 hours, 10 hours. The world cares that you are a person whose life 
can speak to their lives. That's the, what the world cares about. The world doesn't care that we sing in church. Mm. The world doesn't care that I don't know you have gone to how many theological schools. It, the people in the world don't care about that. At the end of the day, it boils down to what kind of man is Wesonga. How does he um, interact with other people? You understand? How does he treat people? You understand? He doesn't care that I'm a famous preacher. How many famous preachers have we seen at the end, after they have died, they are maligned on internet because, oh, they divorced their wives, oh, they, they harassed their children, oh, at the end of the day, the, their credibility just goes down. The world doesn't care that you are a famous preacher. The world doesn't care all those things. What the world cares is, is every detail in your life ruled and mastered by the word of God. If there is a testimony like that in your life, then not only the world, but even the heavens. One of the things I always love about her God is when he comes to, tell, to talk to Daniel, the angel. You know how he greets Daniel? He greets yeah. Daniel. Daniel, a man esteemed yeah. by God. By God. <laughs> that greet. <laughs> but if you think about it, yes. he came to bring a message. Yes. But it means God considered that message very important. Yes. Before, as much as this one was important. Yes. Him telling you are esteemed by God, God before I give you this. Prophecy. In fact, highly esteemed. Uh, uh, before I give you this prophecy. You are highly no. esteemed by God. Look no. at that. <laughs> Look at that. So, anyway, my director is like, done, 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 done. However, one word, one last word, by the way, one statement. But guys, my friend, it's time we stopped machinations and we stopped being Christians because I have the name Job or Caro or Nate or Ricky or Richard or whatever. It is time. It's not, it's not time to be called Christians because I go to church on Sunday or I go to Kesha or I speak in tongues or I prophesy or I interpret dreams. These things even the kingdom of darkness does. The only thing that will distinguish us from every other person is the word of God. Jesus Christ said, and by this they will know that you are my disciples if you truly love one another. Just like that. Okay, one statement from here. You've been so quiet. Um, I'm just thinking, well, when you buy a fridge, it comes with that kabuk. Uh, yes. The, um, what's manual. The name? Yeah, the manual. Yes. Now, when you get born again, you get the Bible. Mm -hmm. That manual will tell you this fridge, do this with it. Yeah. Don't don't do this. Don't put this here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, keep it like that, mm -hmm. and all those things. Yeah. When you get born again, you get you have the Word of God with you. Yeah. That is your manual. Yeah. It, it tells you what to do, what not to do. So we cannot say that I don't know how to do. I, I can't overcome it. I don't know how. Me, I can't just stop lying. Me, I just can't blah, blah, blah. And I just can't. Mm -hmm. I don't know how. Yeah. You, you can. Because how to do it and how not to do it is written down for you. Like, that will tell you how to handle your employees. Yeah. It will tell you how to handle your, your, your colleagues. Yeah. Like, down here in the, in the book of Colossians, it tells you how to behave as a wife and mm -hmm. how to behave as a husband and how to behave as a child mm -hmm. and how to behave as a father. Like, fathers, do not do this. Wives, submit. Like, it has everything written down for you. Mm -hmm. Like, all you have to do is check. It says, submit. I'll submit. Yeah. That's and that's it. it. Every detail being governed by the word of God. God. Yeah. Pastor Ricky, one statement. Erickson is on my neck. Uh the fact is, I am in the world, but not of this world. Yes. Now, if I put myself in the shoes of the world, yeah. what the world sees is the man of God. Yeah. But what the world needs to see yeah. is the God in the man. Thank you. That is the tweet of the week. Not the man of God, but the God of the man. Thank you. Nathaniel. What do you say after that? 
It's too hard to 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 to, to pick up from <laughs> there. Frankly, you guys were talking about um, in the word that be about. Yeah. But I can't I can't wait for Zile a thousand years. <laughs> uh, well, there, was, there will be, be no trouble. There will be no trouble. We'll, <laughs> be, we'll be in the same world, so guys relax. Uh, Kutakona a thousand years to Rudy. Uh, 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 we reign with the uh, we reign with the Can you imagine a thousand years, bro? Uh, yes. Kacha uh, mchezo. <laughs> Igari tutasema wa tuendesha. Siyata yo time tunaza yo tunaza. Yo gari, yo time atatua. Auta itaji gari. Una itaji gari ya ni? Una flight. Una flight. Una teleport. You, com- you, you, co- you, you command the air to take you and transport you to where you want to go and you go. Why do you need? Why why do you need? To, yes. Why do you need to pollute the air? Look at this one <laughs> with the diesel and petrol. But I, I really th- Isus Isus go a, th- a thousand years. I don't know. The, you I always think eagle, about them. A lot. You command like, an eagle. What will it happen comes then? And it carries you to where you want. You tell a cheetah, my friend, I need to go to Western <laughs> Province. And the cheetah runs, you oh, on anyway. the back. <laughs> anyway, guys, sorry. Um, Karibuni sana, I don't know me, I want to stop it from there. What I, For me, my last word to you is just very simple. Very simple. Very simple. Being a Christian is not going through religious practices that we have been taught to go through. Being Christian is being a follower of Christ and standing to the standard that the Holy Spirit who has been left as our guide and as our teacher to follow him, follow him, follow him, follow the Holy Spirit, follow the word of God, follow. A good follower is he who has become the disciple of Jesus Christ. Finally, this is Pastor Rich Ricky, this is Ned, this is Caro, my name is Wesonga, and on to our crew, this is Dan, Dan, you know what we do, Dan. Yes, this is Dan and Baba Yao Mwenyewe. This is Ericsson. Um, and that is Ericsson again. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, remember to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. We love you very much. Keep on keeping on. Toodles.